Hi, I'm Paqueta12, and today we play with uh, feedback again and some UV techniques in order to recreate this uh, scan tool uh, made by Schulz Schulz Graphic, a design company based in Frankfurt, Germany. They were using uh, processing and they, they have uh, uh, delicious uh, uh, works here. And uh, today we attempt to build this uh, using mostly uh, tops and we can change the input image and get the, the instant uh, result or we can uh, input a, a video and uh, we get those glitches and uh, at the moment we feel the, the texture we have this uh, uh, slide so uh, yeah let's uh, let's start I will leave this aside to guide me so First, I would like to to draw a couple of things here. So um, let's see what we need. We have a texture, okay, and uh, we need to to grab a little area out of it, and then uh, uh, form another texture. And each. Each of the, the areas we need to, to uh, store them, okay, here in uh, rows, okay, and uh, we can do this with, with feedback and uh, maybe we can, uh, we can uh, uh, do uh, this texture in one step if we uh, take care of uh, uh, those uh, um, ends uh, rows and uh, I don't know make something that uh, eventually will uh, will start again um, one row above okay and uh, then again and so on instead we do something else we form with those uh, areas okay we save them in a uh, uh, way bigger resolution like this actually we will will be uh, longer as much as uh, uh, rows we have and then we remap this texture into uh, something like this and we preserve the the rows okay so let's do that first let's see what we need so we need a constant chop and let's take the uh, res x uh, let's go with 64 for now and then uh, res y okay this uh, it's one to eight for now let's set the thickness uh, maybe eight for now and uh, then the height 32 okay and uh, let's use a null here and uh, what else we need let's grab a photo so I'll go with uh, Miss Piggy and then uh, we set a fit in order to uh, prepare this texture for the resolution we have okay so let's grab the resolution okay like this and uh, here we go with the uh, fit outside and uh, yeah maybe nearest pixels okay and I would like to see the mouse uh, walking uh, in this uh, texture and uh, we can use a, a container for this and let's go with the same resolution here in a layout and uh, in the look, let's take the out from from inside here, okay. And now, if we open this, we we can read the mouse position, okay, by uh, using a panel. So let's let's use a panel like this and we only need um, 
inside u and inside v okay and uh, let's grab this container instead of project one and now uh, we have here the mouse uh, position okay and i would like to to have a rectangle um, here where i have the the, the mouse and so uh, let's do that so let me put a null here and i will take this null okay like this and let's go inside and here uh, we do a rectangle top okay let let me go outside and open this one too because from here we'll grab the resolution so back to our rectangle so let's set the size for pixels and uh, get the the size we want okay and uh, here uh, the resolution and we don't need nearest pixel we go with nearest pixel we don't need anti allies okay and uh, now let's put this uh, over okay and uh, yeah let's see what what we have so what else we need to do is to take the center positions out of of here so i will take this one and this one okay and now you see we have a little offset which uh, i believe is uh, minus 0 0.05 minus 0 0.05 so now now we're good uh, what else uh, you notice when I go to the top and with my mouse reach the edge then I have half of the of the rectangle and I, I would like this rectangle to always uh, stay inside uh, the, the texture and be the, the maximum size and for this let's uh, let's have a folder here so I'll place a null here and then click outside collapse selected and uh, I have a folder I color this black let's go inside and uh, we use a, a select okay and I'll select inside you and I would like to rearrange this because um, I don't want to um, inside you so I don't want to touch one it needs to be one minus half of my rectangle and here uh, it's y minus half of the the uh, height of the rectangle so for this let's uh, let's go li like this so we use a limit here okay and so we limit with clamp and let's see what what we need uh, minimum minimum is uh, zero plus half of the rectangle okay so let's go with uh, thickness okay then this divide by resolution x okay and then uh, I believe divided by two okay and uh, we do the same here we grab inside V and here it has to be oh so we didn't finish with this one with the first limit okay so minimum is this one and the maximum is um, one minus uh, the one above so one minus okay and here the same but uh, instead of thickness since we are on uh, um, v so y coordinate so we take uh, height okay and here it's res y okay so um, let's see if it, if this is good so we use a merge okay 
so okay let me check oh one minus here it's one minus okay now let's see if this is good so let's check okay now you see my my uh, rectangle stays no matter what my mouse uh, it's doing okay so and this is this is good actually right and uh, okay now it will be maybe maybe difficult to cut off the this texture as we we get only what it's under the the white rectangle okay and uh, in the mondrian tutorial uh, we did something like that where uh, from a big uh, uh, texture we just take the rectangle we need okay so uh, we go with with group here and we group out the the uh, rest of the the image okay but uh, a better solution would be uh, to composite uh, different so we take the big texture and we composite uh, over the uh, small rectangle and so in that little rectangle we always have the content we want and we only need to to set some some translate values okay so uh, let's let's do that so i'll take here a constant because i want to have uh, only the the rectangle okay so this constant takes the resolution 8 by 32 in this case okay and this is uh, 32 rgb and uh, yeah let's set this to zero okay now if we composite like this so uh, composite and we go with uh, over okay and here in transform native resolution and we get this and this is actually what is under the the white rectangle obviously we don't translate the 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 big texture here but uh, we we should do this now what i want to to show you is sometimes it's difficult to to find out the the translation uh, values and and so on and maybe maybe it would be much easier if we, instead of the image we want we take something which is uh, nicely divided in some colors or and for that we go with uh, uv so uh, let's grab the uh, uv component okay and go for the same resolution okay let's go inside and bypass this uh, those two mods okay so in in the rest it's good and uh, now if we plug this in okay we have uh, something that we might um, judge um, better uh, since we we know the the uv colors okay but i mean something much more uh, define than this and I can use uh, pixelate here so uh, pixelate and this will take as the values the um, thickness and the height okay and I get something like this and now I have uh, some some uh, areas with one single color okay and in order to to be much uh, to have a much better uh, image we can use a noise here so let's use a noise okay we go with uh, this resolution okay this is 32 rgb and uh, yeah we we good and we plug into the second input our pixelate okay so now we have something that it's much more uh, much easier to to see so right now since my my big texture doesn't move okay 
uh, it's staying in the center and uh, it's something like this now you see every time a white rectangle comes um, here it it's taken by by this so what can we do let's go inside and uh, take the over out but i would like to see it here so uh, we go uh, here in the look and instead of out one we take over one okay so now now i see what i'm doing but this texture would be clean so if i'm here uh, this would be the result okay now let's let's see what value we need for translate so let's go like this okay so this is the edge okay and let's go uh, to this um, this corner right left bottom corner where we have a, a dark blue so is this one now those values 4 and 1.7 might not tell you too much but uh, what if we go with uh, with something that we have here so let's let's uh, go by this here we grab for the translate on x we grab the resolution x and we divide this by thickness and then divide by 2 oh so it's something wrong let's let's see what what is wrong here so okay oh so divide okay and now uh, let's let's do the same for um, translate uh, y so we grab this expression okay and we change the uh, res y instead and the height okay and uh, yeah it's gone okay now it's it's good actually so this is where my texture comes okay so what i need here more on the x and y it's a 0 5 so now if i say minus 0 0.5 and here minus 0 0.5 i'm good okay so this is the value obviously if i'm if i change here minus and then uh, this minus into plus okay i'm on the other side like like here okay so if i do the same uh, for the y i'm in the opposite corner so i'm i'm here okay now how we uh, use those um, for for building a parameter uh, named uh, translate x and translate y and just uh, use them okay so uh, let's go here and select again inside u and rename this uh, dtx for uh, translate on, on uh, x and uh, we go with the mod here okay and let's range this so we never touch zero and one since we we solve that here in the limit and so let's grab those min and max from from there okay so like this and now uh, i want to use here the the same uh, judgment as uh, before and so i'll go with um, uh, resolution on on x okay divide by thickness okay minus 0 0.5 okay so this and the one uh, here is uh, minus 
and we change here into plus okay and uh, let's do the same for y so we select inside v this time it's uh, dty and here we need to to uh, grab the min and max out from here so min goes here and max okay goes here okay and we need to change uh, those two since this is, is res y res y and instead of thickness we take the height okay good now let's merge those two so i use here a merge and uh, yeah now we have them here so let's go and use them okay so i will drag here and here and let's 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 check to see what we have so okay we have the same we have the 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 same uh, offset so we need the uh, we need here uh, let me check so it's a minus zero five okay so this is good i'm in the middle oh i need somewhere to to divide by two okay so let's go here and take this and divide by two okay now i believe we're good now not quite but we're getting close okay so I'm good only on on X so uh, this divide by two yeah it has to be here also okay yeah now now we we good you see uh, so my white rectangle it's always inside okay now yeah the the hardest part maybe it's it's done so right now how how we shape the the texture we need with a feedback so uh let's let's in initialize the the feedback texture okay with a constant top so i have this constant top and let's see the the size we need the, the size would be this uh, resolution x uh, multiplied by how many rows we have okay and the height would be uh, the height of our rectangle so let's let's take the the height here like this and now we have resolution x multiply by how many rows or how many rows it's resolution y divided by the height so uh, let's go with that okay so we have this uh, multiply with um, res y divided by height okay perfect so we have this texture okay let's make this uh, 32 rgb and the uh, initial color would be zero now if we use a feedback here like this let's make this uh, black okay and uh, drop um, keyboard in to pulse this and reset when we press one. OK, 
okay and now let's add those two so add and this add should uh, should take um, native resolution you see where it's uh, it's our um, rectangle content okay and uh, let's put this to the right okay and maybe make those uh, nearest pixels okay and here then I need to translate this okay so I use the transform and I go with uh, minus the thickness so I'll just make place for the next one so I'll take the thickness okay and uh, I use it here but before let's set these two pixels so minus okay now we good and uh, we use a null here and this null we feed back into the feedback top okay like this and now you see every time i i press one so i reset i have this uh, texture uh, feeling with with what I have under my my white rectangle okay so now if we go with uh, thickness one instead and uh, reset this it's feeling much more slower and uh, yeah and now if we plug in the, the UV okay so we go like this or yeah maybe let's let's plug it into the container okay so i have something like this and my texture will will uh, save all the uh, uv coordinates okay but yeah th this is this is good but uh, how can we remap this uh, different uh, resolution into what we need so eventually we, we need something similar with this one the, the other half okay we went for the half 64 and 1 to 8 and uh, yeah how we do this first of all I would like my feedback to walk uh, in an opposite direction so you see here all the old values are moving to to make uh, room for the new one which it's uh, it's added here okay in uh, in the last so after each transform I'll, I'll make a place for the next one okay you see this small one and I would like to to have the new content moving and the old content will will stay and for this but maybe you you can't you can't see it uh too too good now so let's let's use a null here instead okay so i, I i'm thinking to to make the the remapping first okay and then we solve the the feedback uh direction okay and uh yeah we need to, instead of this we, we need a, a um a different um, texture and I want to build uh, um, a texture with which I, I remap this okay so uh, let me let me see okay so yeah something like uh, the four rows now okay let's go with the ramp so we build a ramp and uh, for the resolution we go with one pixel here okay and the length uh, would be as much as this one so I'll just take this and use it here okay and this has to be uh, 32 
or no? Okay. Now I use uh, from uh, the palette from point cloud. I use a uh, point repack. Okay. So this is uh, very handy because uh, I want to repack this into the resolution that I, I have. But uh, first uh, we we go like um, this has to be 64 and here instead of the uh, resolution y we need only how many rows we have so we need to to make again uh, res y divided by the height okay and we have this texture now I use a fit okay and now I give it the, the desired resolution okay okay and uh, yeah this has to be nearest pixels and uh, fill okay we have this since where it's zero is the the, the starting uh, point that the zero is the bottom i want to flip this so i flip this uh, on y like like this and now i use another another uh, ramp which uh, takes the resolution here okay and this has to be 32 mono okay we we good um, the type it's vertical and here I would like to set the number for my um, for my rows okay so let's let's see it will be height divided no it's it's this rest y divided by height let's see if it's this one maybe no it uh, has to be the opposite so okay now it's good and I want to form a texture which takes this as uh, um, X and this as Y so reorder and yeah let's take this and 32 rg okay now i wanna remap this okay so let's make some room here this is my my uh, feedback texture okay so now if I use a remap here and I'll take this I need to to say the resolution I want so the resolution is this okay and let's output aspect resolution okay let me try again now yeah you you see how how this goes right now yeah out out from here it's very easy now to just take into into a select um, this fit let's uh, be sure this is 32 RGB okay and I'll take this here and let's remap now okay let's see this texture so while I'm walking here I can um, I can have the the texture the that I need okay it 
only needs uh, some some uh, little work on the feedback because right now the what's what's new content it's staying uh, still and everything else is moving so yeah how we do how we do this uh, just a second to make something here I would like to split the screen okay so I want to see the panel this panel okay here and for this I need to to set the the right um, the right resolution so this takes the resolution from here this res x multiply by two okay and this okay and now let me update the incoming texture with uh, with the photo and uh, yeah so here i want to i want to see the, uh, the 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 photo so what what i can do is uh, connect the this uv directly here and uh, inside my container i'll take the the photo and now now it's good and uh, i also have the uh, the the result working but i need to to show it here so what i can do is uh, just uh, insert a container okay and uh, i'll go for the the same resolution as uh, the other half okay and i'll say here in look i'll take uh, out one okay and uh, here in uh, layout i'll uh, i'll start with zero five and uh, we have this now let me see what is wrong here okay so this one oh i need okay so this container it's here fix with it yeah i don't know what, what what what's wrong we'll we'll see in a minute okay one so well i, I i'm not sure what why it's not working um, yeah fix with it uh, fill anchors so left anchor 0 0.5 yeah something like this so yeah so we could let's let's increase the the resolution okay and this is uh, I don't know divided by four maybe okay let's uh, reset this and uh, yeah you you can't see now but we are starting from from here okay and um, yeah we will solve this in a moment so right here where we have this null let's uh, delete this uh, actually we put it back and collapse selected and here i'll go inside and uh, I use a mod here okay so 
here is, is a mod. I don't go for the land, I only go for uh, square, add, uh, I mask alpha, I go for ceiling, and uh, I'll take monochrome. Okay, right now I'll have uh, one or bigger than one, uh, but I can I can use a level here just to to limit this. So I have one where I have content, okay, and zero where I don't have. And what I plan to do is uh, translate the texture with the how much zero I have. So uh, we shift back the the texture. For this, uh, let's let's use a uh, group because we only uh, we only need a, a, a tiny pixel row out of this so uh, we go like uh, like this okay it's one here okay and now an analyze here we need to to inverse the the level since we want to count the, the zeros actually so we invert this and now here in the analyze we go with uh, sum okay and uh, let's go in chops tops two and uh, we have the value we need okay and uh, we can use a translate here transform with translate in pixels with minus this Okay, and let's see now. Now we uh, it's starting from uh, the top, and it's working nice. Let's get rid of this uh, brown, dark brown. Okay, you can see it here. Okay, so uh, we can do the, the same what we did inside here to to mark where we have values. Okay, so we do the same. So we go with uh, a mat, and here we take a square, uh, add, mask alpha, ceiling, and monochrome. I do this to not uh, compute the uh, full uh, length, which requires a root, and which I believe it's, it's um, one of the most expensive to compute, so we don't need that. Here we limit with level, Okay, and we multiply with this. Okay, now if we restart, then uh, it's a clean black. And uh, yeah, you can you can plug in here. Let me let me use a select and uh, split this, because I have my camera here. So yeah, I'll I'll grab my camera. And let's go with with this. So, uh, yeah, into into the the fit first. Okay, much much better. So, yeah, this was the the tutorial. I really hope you like this. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, or you can support me on Patreon. Merry Christmas to all of you. Thanks to all my patrons, especially to 480 Productions, Andreas Fischer, NT Allies, Aurelio Adoratorio, Ben Harrison, Bora Edintug, Brandon Tay, Breakwood, Brian Smith, Chad Alessi, Charlie Williams, Choi Seng Ho, Kono Kars, Crocondale, Daniel Clark, Darian Brito, Erin Lewin, Esteban, ATVM, Fraxinus, Jason Picciano, Leo Torres, Laurez Lab, Masayuki Azegami, Michel Onglet, Migu Mians Leong, Ophir Lieberman, Paul Tral, Ploy Papus Fosri, Priam Givort, Robert Elderton, Sebastian Schnabel, Sinus, Srill Bridger, Siskilmi, Tim Note, Tim, Tyler Hallett, Vincent Naples. Guys, thank you so much.